Hi. Greetings from Edinburgh, Pennsylvania, USA. I want to tell you what I experienced this morning. There was an intense multitude of energies coming into the earth today. Um, it was so powerful that I could barely move. I felt my whole body humming and pulsating. I felt my teeth to my lips being numb and charged with energy to my feet, my head, and my heart. And all my heart was exploding with all of this love and all this peace. I came a long way in my journey to feel this. I didn't always feel this. I know that even with all this bliss that came in this morning and this afternoon, I was immensely tired. My body was yet undergoing another round of upgrades and just beautiful sensations of love gratitude of being here at this time. Like I said, I haven't always felt that way. There was times where I felt very angry, very hurt, betrayed, and felt it as if I was the victim. Because in my mind, and in the people around me, to what I grew up with, to society, we've all been taught how to be this victim, how I can't believe this is happening to me, or becoming very angry and or even narcissistic at times. We all have these tendencies within us, our aspects, our shadow aspects as they put it. It took me a long time to go through all of that. It really did. Because that was the path I was on. We were the way showers, the star, star seeds, the ones going through this first. So it took us longer. It took us uh, a period of time to work our way through this. With the energies that are coming in now, though, you guys who are just starting to awaken and find out what's really going on, with yourself and with the world around you is on an accelerated path where things are not as long and hard as it used to be. It, it is more of a you're thrown into this crazy world that we see today to wake you up, to have that big startling, oh my gosh, something's not right. So you look within. What do I mean by that? Chris, what the heck do you mean by look within? I know I've mentioned this on my other videos that you will go within and you find your heart. And yeah, that's, that's true. But then you start questioning your belief systems. You start questioning everything that is being said to you. I went through that too. I went through a long period of me coming out of who I thought I was and coming into who I know I am. And it, it isn't easy. It isn't. You start to see all around you things that you thought were true and things that you thought were real or crumbling all around you. And it's okay. It's supposed to happen. I know a lot of you are feeling lost or reading the things in the news and to see how they're not adding up and how everybody's back talking and saying different things and how things aren't making sense. And that's what's supposed to happen. It's supposed to wake you up. It's supposed to have you do your own research on viruses to vaccines to the cabal to you name it. Do your own research. It's time that we stop believing what others in quote-unquote authority is telling us. 
I know that I've always questioned it throughout my entire life, but I always kept getting batted down into my conformity states, and that was what I needed to do in order to rise up to the person I am today. I had to go through all that. I had to actually not trust myself, so then I would come out on the other side and teach others how to trust themselves. It's a very interesting game that we play with ourselves. We immerse ourselves into this way of being. And on the inside, we know something's not right, something's wrong, but then we listen to others around us and we believe what they have to say. That's what I grew up with. That's what my whole life consisted of, was everybody telling me one way when I knew in my heart of hearts that it was something different. But then I thought, what's wrong with me? Why am I feeling this way when everybody else isn't? Why am I feeling this way when everybody's saying and telling me something totally different? Is because they were immersed in the lie as well. They were just being taught of what they were taught and what they were taught and what they were taught. Eons and eons of times of passed down toxic, dysfunctional ways of being. We're seeing this unfold now. We're seeing this coming to life in this great play now. It's very hard to look at what you believed to be true for so long, for your entire life, and for all of it to crumble and dismantle. But know that when you do that, you start to find what's really going on inside of you, what you've known all along. And then you'll start to find out even more truths about yourself and how powerful and how amazing and what you're here to do. We all have these gifts. We all have these ways about us, our natural gifts about us. That is why we're here, to bring that forth into the world. I know everybody's real quick to get back to work and have our normalcy back, but we're never going to have that true normalcy again. This is what this is showing us. This is also what's showing us is what's going on with the governments, with with the state and local governments especially. And how they're mandating this and mandating that. And masks to, to being allowed outside to play. It, it's, it's getting to the point where people are putting forth what they believe and what they're being told to do. But as we as sovereign beings, we have the, the right of natural law of how we are to be. Natural law, we aren't being governed by anybody. Eventually, this is what it will look like. We won't have governments. We won't have these ways of being any longer. And that's what it's dismantling. That's what it's showing you on how the corrupt systems of control of who we are are in place. Just like we grew up, we had parents or friends or family, husbands, wives that held us in their own control mechanisms because that's all they knew how to survive and live off of. I had to get out of that in order to see what was really out there, what was really inside of me was this amazing being who had all this wisdom to share with the world. And you are just like that too. So as you go through this process, you're going to start to see the things, like I said, crumble around you. And it's okay. We are here for you to talk to. We are here for you to, to vent and to scream and yell and say, why is this always happening? And this is messed up. We're here. We understand. We've all been through it ourselves. We all went through this. Just a little bit ago, I felt massive waves of just grief and fear. It, it was the collective. It was feeling everything around me. And what everybody was experiencing. 
As you go deeper into this journey, you start becoming connected to everything. You start be being connected to the beautiful crow that's talking in the background. To the trees that I'm staring at. I just want to be hugged. They're here. They're our guardians. They're here to help us. They're our wugs. They help transmute all this disgusting stuff in the air. So what are we here for? That's what you have to f really start digging down inside to find out. All of our journeys are different. All of our paths are totally different than from everybody. That's what makes us so beautiful and unique. We are the God spark. We are God here on this earth experiencing source as a human being. Amazing how powerful that is. When you start seeing through the eyes of source, that's where we're all going. To see a fly buzzing around me as source looking at source. The trees, the sun pulsating. Source viewing itself as source. And the experiences that I'm bringing forth of sitting here in the middle of the woods choosing to listen to the wind absorbing the sun and its powerful energies to the flies and the crows and the birds all around me I choose to immerse myself in what is nature, what is real what has always been real So as you go through this process, this dismantling, this basically crumbling of everything you've ever known, just know that it's supposed to happen in your own timing, in your own way. And all of our ways are different than everybody else's, and that's okay. Some may take longer, some may take shorter times. It just depends on what your soul path is and to honor that and to be careful of the traps that are out there there's a lot of traps out there spirituality even in order to know yourself you have to know all of yourself the light beautiful hearting aspects of you and then the parts that you don't find that charming and beautiful and that's what's playing out in stage two this grand stage of you're looking at the ugly there's a lot of ugly that just needs love it's all just a cry for love but you see it as such you see the darkness out there and not to be afraid of it when you can look at darkness in the eye like I have, and you can make peace with it and, and not be afraid of it anymore, I would be so afraid of the dark that I would continually run. I run from it and just say, oh, there's only God, love, and light. Yes, that's true. But there's also the darkness that God also, down here on this plane, on this earth plane, we experience. I didn't want to see that. I, w I didn't want to see it. Especially with me, I didn't want to see it. Oh no, Chrissy, you're, you're the beautiful little soul that is not dark at all. <laughs> yes, I was. I had my wounds of abuse and codependency and neglect, abandonment. All those were all aspects of myself that I ran away from. Now was the time to look at it. It's not so scary once you do. You start to love yourself in a whole new way. And then you can understand what's going on out there. You know the darkness is out there and people are running from it. And they're hiding. And they're doing things underneath the surface so they won't see, they look good on the outside and 
really they're feeling darkness on the inside. It's all just, it is all just source, and it really truly is. And that's where the spiritual track comes in. You know, when you look at love and light, that's the only thing that exists. But there is this darker aspect that is there. And, you know, everything's a mirror to what you see on the outside is the, on the inside. Those are old spiritual paradigms that just need to finally start fading away. The new energy, the new spiritual paradigm is here. Was we are love. We're all love. Even the darkness. Just the different variations. But the darkness is darkness. And there is yucky out there. And people are doing some really heinous, awful things because they are hurting. And so, as a pattern of abuse, they have to hurt others. So that they won't get hurt. The, con the beautiful cycle continues. But as we become enlightened, as we become awake, that no longer has power over us any longer. And that's what, guess what? They don't have power over us anymore. And they can't touch us with a 10-foot pole anymore. That light just exudes from us. And they are scared of us. Because we are waking up at rapid speeds. Our light is shining so brightly that they don't know what to do with it. You'll start to see it out there. As more and more you make peace with yourself, you see it for what it is. And then the reactions start to dissipate and you respond with love and light and you respond with that beautiful divine spark within you. No judgments. They all start fading away when you really truly love yourself. But on this process you will begin with the judgments. You will point the fingers. They are doing this to the, us. How dare they do this? But we are giving them permission to do so. It takes all of us, really, to stand up and start believing in ourselves, trusting ourselves. And then they have no, no control over us whatsoever. So I encourage you guys to really release the old ways of the spiritual paradigms and embrace the new that is here. We are love. We are this love. Yes, there is some things that are out there that are not love. They've, they've, but they've chosen that. You have that choice too at every given moment. What are we going to choose at every given moment? How am I going to be that light in every moment? How am I going to be God in every moment? What you put into your body, what you listen to, what you put your attention to. You can go down the rabbit holes, which is rich. I did that too. I really did. I went down the rabbit holes. But it's all right. It is. It's all, it's all right because you're, you're, you're getting knowledge. But then you don't need to go down there anymore. Eventually. Just honor the process. That's what it is. It's a process. Process from your wounds and victimhood to love and freedom. Thank you for listening today. Please like and subscribe. I can't believe I'm saying that, but yes, please like and subscribe. I'm just one person going through this journey, sharing with you what I witness, what I experience and how you're okay and you're supported if you want to reach out please I'd love to talk with you there's so many of us that are here to give back to be a service to all and that's what we're here for thank you